oil field centrifuge mechanisms and types. The use of screens, shaker screen, to remove drilled solids from mud use is only one characteristic of solids particles, their size. Solids control devices that speed up drilled solid settling process by applying centrifugal force take advantage of two factors, particle size and density. Centrifuges utilize Stokes' law in their operation. Stokes' law governs the settling velocity of particles in a liquid. This equation indicates that larger particles, of the same density, will settle more rapidly than smaller ones and that high acceleration and low viscosity speed up the settling rate. Unlike shale shakers, which operate continuously on the full mud circulation volume, centrifuges operate intermittently on a small fraction of the circulating volume, usually 5 to 10 percent. The classic use of centrifuges is to remove colloidal sized solids from weighted water based muds to salvage barite and avoid excessive viscosity, which can result from high colloidal content. There are mainly two types of oil field centrifuge decanting centrifuge and solid bowl centrifuge. The decanting centrifuge is the most common type in drilling applications. The operating principle is that of Stokes' law, but unlike the cyclone, it is not fluid pressure but the rather mechanical rotation of the bowl which induces the centrifugal force required to accelerate the settling rate. A decanting centrifuge consists of a conveyor screw inside a solid bowl rotated at very high speeds, 1,500 to 3,500 revolutions per minute. As the conveyor rotates, it throws out the mud of the feed ports into the bowl. Centrifugal force pushes the heavy, coarse particles in the rotating mud against the wall of the bowl, where the scraping motion of the conveyor screw moves them toward and out of the solids discharge port. The light, fine solids remain suspended in the pools between the conveyor flutes and are carried out in the overflow ports along with the liquid phase of the mud. The perforated cylinder centrifuge consists of a perforated cylinder, or rotor, about three long revolving at about 2,300 revolutions per minute, which is contained in an outer stationary cylindrical ease. A diluted feed of weighted mud is pumped into the stationary case tangential to the rotor. The unit separates the feed slurry into two streams of differing density and particle size distribution. Under centrifugal force, larger solids are concentrated against the annular wall for discharge at an underflow port. Finer solids pass through the multiple half an inch perforations to exit through the center shaft. There are still more info related to centrifuge applications and operating tips. Check the link in the video description to read full article. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel www.drillingmanual.com.